guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning back in. I am Jay, also known as the True Dark Majin, and uh, today I'm going to be doing something that's going to be changing up the room a little bit, but also uh, something I wanted to check out myself. Uh, if you guys can tell, uh, with the past couple of videos I've been doing, I've got this blank space just kind of right above my TV there, <laughs> and it just kind of sits right in between the Dragon Ball Super uh, poster there, the Boruto poster, you know, love him or hate him, uh, I will get into Baruto on a no, whole nother video. <laughs> but this one is actually going to be about something a little different. It's actually an, an LED Batman light that I found on Amazon and thought, that looked pretty neat. I actually really wanted to check it out. So, uh, here it is. If you happen to get it, I went ahead, grabbed it from Amazon. We're going to do a quick unboxing. It's only a few pieces of tape, so shouldn't take any time and uh, if you guys are interested in it I will leave a uh, link down in the description uh, below so let's check it out okay so here we go this thing came right in the mail just the other day so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and hang it on the wall we're gonna go ahead and check it out give you a quick review about it and my initial thoughts and let's see how this works out So, here it is. That was pretty quick. Uh, I don't know if it was supposed to come with two remotes. <laughs> I guess in case you lose one. Um, or it was just, uh, you know, maybe it's a mistake on the manufacturer's part. I'm, I'm actually not too sure. Uh, but we've got these here. Crack one open here. Protective film. I just want to see literally what kind of battery this thing takes. Okay, it's a CR2025, uh, so just uh, just so you guys know when the batteries go dead, but because of a remote like this, this thing should last years. I can't really rem see myself replacing it, and essentially since I've got two, this thing is going to last me a while. Okay, so we've got that here. There's the remote. You've got your power switch, or your power cord, I should say. Now, one thing to note is that when I was buying it, some of the reviews that I did read, uh, they were bashing this thing like crazy, pretty much because it has a lot of scratches. And they're like, oh, it's scratched up, it's scraped, and, and it, it look, just looks horrible. How dare you send me this? And I'm, I'm just thinking, I'm like, well, I mean, they, they had to ship the thing, and it had to come with... Uh, It had to come with some kind of perfective film on it. And, I mean, even right here at the top, you can kind of read it. I don't know if you can try to get that there. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Well, that just says, warm prompt, move the protective film. <laughs> it just seems pretty obvious that, you know, you wouldn't ship something like this with it just being exposed. So, I mean, some people were really, really upset with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the film just to show everyone at least I hope, <laughs> that it's perfectly normal underneath. Okay. Look at that. You can actually see the phone and everything, see the ceiling. <laughs> Sweet. Let's get the rest of this off. Right, mirror finished. You can actually go ahead and see some of the mess. <laughs> Let's see. All right, mirror finished. So you can see the camera. Let's see. Okay, so complete mirror finish. You can actually see some of my uh, collectibles in the background there. <laughs> Got the Pee Wee Herman and a few Marvel figures and stuff like that. But you can see this thing. It's just a protective film, and I really saw people getting really upset about that. Uh, so just to show you that there's nothing to worry about. There's this and. Uh, light it um, through USB power. Um, I'm going to go back and actually read that description again to make sure that uh, they sent me everything I was supposed to get instead of the two remotes. But 
In either case, uh, my TV right there actually does have a couple of open USB ports, so I lucked out, but just uh, be aware of that. I'm going to go ahead and actually double check that right now, and then we're going to go ahead and hang this thing on up. Okay, really quick before we get into the installation, I just wanted to show a couple of comments to show that uh, some people were just really upset and did not remove the film, such as this person here. Their review says, What a disappointment. I ordered this for my son, and this is how it looks. Totally unprofessional. Scratches all over the bat symbol. I don't know how anyone could look at this product and think it's okay to ship looking like this. Beyond upset. Thirty nine ninety nine for something to look like this. Nope. So it's just showing you that um, it, it's pretty common. And, and there's another one I'll show you over here in a bit. Uh, I just want to tell everyone just, just to remove the plastic film. It's in the description and it's also in the, um, uh, in the pictures. So that's all I wanted to do. I just want to put that in here really quick. And uh, now back to the installation. I uh, just want to go ahead and give you guys a quick look at the back of it. Uh, so you've really only got three screws you have to worry about. Um, I've got a little little variety set. I can't even remember where I picked this up. I think it was like the, you know, like Advanced Auto or something like that. I had laying around for some other repairs I was doing on some things. And so I'm just going to match up the holes best I can and see what's going to actually go in there. Okay, that one's a little too big. So... We're going to go ahead and I'm going to match up the holes and we're going to stick it right there on that spot and let's see how it looks. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and actually go with the number eight three quarter inch pan head. Okay, so that's the screw I used here. Just a three quarter inch. Use a three quarter inch pan head screw and I'm just going to put that in. Okay, so that would also be... Uh, uh, for my metric views out there, which is most of the world, <laughs> uh, 0 0.09 meters uh, pan head. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's got a Phillips there, and let's just hang this up really quick. All right, so <laughs> a little bit of trial and error. I happened to get it up and it's nice and sturdy. So I actually went in and mounted the wire behind uh, my sound bar here. And I'm gonna take this, the USB cord, actually plug it into one of the ports on the back of the TV. And there we go. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm taking the remote right now. I need to, I got a few fingerprints on the thing. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but let's see. Let's make it blue. Turn it on. Oh, nice. Okay, so what we're gonna we're gonna shut off actually all the lights. And then we'll see what it looks like. Cool. Nice. And you can really change it to however you want. Different shades. Oh, wow, it's like a teal. I don't know if you can pick up all of the different colors, but they've definitely got different variations, different shades. You can have a, a kind of like a violet versus a purple. You've got a fading function. Oh, that's cool. We've got a smooth function. I don't know how that's smooth, but okay. <laughs> We've got a strobe function. So here's strobe. Hmm. I really think some of these buttons are mixed up. <laughs> that seems like it would be more of a smooth, but okay. And here's flash. 
Maybe we just got pure white. That's cool too. Now, according to this, you can increase or decrease the brightness. That's super slick. So you can, you know, it's not going to be so much of a bother if you're watching a movie. You just want something kind of subtle in the background. You've got the, the nice, nice bat signal there. In fact, I'm going to see if I can raise this camera up just a little bit. See if you guys can get a better picture of this. Okay. So we've got there. Let's go back to the blue, and we're going to go ahead and increase the brightness. Now I know on camera, it just kind of puts this, kind of like this halo glow around it, which still looks pretty okay and pretty cool on camera. In, you know, in, in real life, I'm just, even at the brightest setting, it's not too intrusive, and you can use this as a kind of a standalone light by itself. If you're just kind of wanting to hang around your room, play some games or whatnot, maybe watch a movie. Even watching a movie, this thing isn't too intrusive. It's just kind of right there in the background. I know you're going to see like individual lights on the camera, but if you're sitting here on the lowest setting and I'm just looking at it, I mean, you see some of the little the little dots and the lights and things, but it's not, not that bad. I actually really, really like it. So, um, so there we go. It's, uh, it's a winner. I like it. Glad I picked that thing up. Okay, so final thoughts. Uh, I really like the purchase. You can actually still see it right here. It's actually on the lowest setting right now, and that's with all the lights on. So I've got my, my regular lights. I've got my, uh, uh, you know, my filming lights that I use when I film the videos. Also some extra bright lights here. I've got everything on in the room, and this is on the lowest setting, and you can still, still kind of see a little glow on it. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera as much, but it's still pretty prevalent right there. So, and as you go up, it's just going to keep increasing in brightness and brightness and brightness. So, uh, bottom line, um, I like it. I review it. If you're a Batman fan, if you're a DC fan, if you're just a comic fan or a superhero fan, whichever, I definitely recommend it. And it goes great with the rest of the room and I'll just keep improving as time goes on. So that'll be it. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. Uh, but that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell, all that great stuff. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Hey guys, True Dark Majin here. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And go ahead and give it a share if you can. Alright, thank you guys. I will see you on the next one. Later.